Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons where in this video I'm going to be defeating the wildfire boss that has come in the new Luminous Night update. Now I don't actually know if you can find this boss in the Flames of Nether DLC. I would expect so for like a nether fortress or crimson forest or something, I don't know. I'll be doing the tower, doing the entire tower just to get to the final floor and to fight the boss. Okay, so I'm now in. Uh, and yeah, I, I really like this like glowing stuff on the walls, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get to doing the tower. Die, 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 ow. Okay, floor one cleared. I think I'll take the scatter mines. And floor two cleared. What do I want here? I kind of wanna try and go for a ranged build, so maybe this bubble bow. I'm gonna take the hunter's armor uh, and then less enchanted with like, let's do cowardice. I'm gonna stay away from most of the enemies. Then if I just activate that and then stay back, then creeper, nope, ah, creeper there. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, okay, I'm not fine. Uh, technical difficulties, technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Okay, I can't see what is going on right now. I'm gonna die. Maybe not go with a ranged build. Constantly, people shooting at me when I'm supposed to be the ranged guy. Let's go with like, ooh, nah, nah. Let's go plate armor. And I've just done snowball, so hopefully a little bit more stunning since my ranged weapon is still my strongest weapon. Uh, I'm just gonna be a little bit on the lookout for creepers. Jesus Christ. Okay, I need to not get a heart attack, please. That would be nice. A soul build would be pretty good, but a melee build is also really nice. I'm gonna go with a soul healer. It might be a really dumb move, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Because now I've basically just got a second health potion. That as long as I'm killing people, I'll then get more health. Okay, so this one here, this cog crossbow. Cog crossbows are just genuinely OP. I really, really need a new melee weapon. But this one here will basically cover anything for my ranged. Uh, I'm gonna go with the cog crossbow since I can probably find a better melee weapon. And then I'm gonna upgrade snowball so it's then the closest enemy is permanently stunned. Uh, this one here can maybe have ricochet. These sickles are gonna be so good leeching and sharpness or maybe thundering now i'm gonna go with sharpness and then next one is gonna be in leeching okay that was a little bit scary okay that's that was also a little okay next one oh double axe i forgot that i was gonna get that let's go with sharpness and then I have one more enchantment point. Let's go with deflect. And I think it's on either floor 15 or 16 that I'm gonna find the first boss. So still quite a lot more floors to go. Okay, floor 10 I just skipped. Wasn't that interesting, but uh, I just took an enchantment point there. And also I, ench I enchanted my axe with ambush because you see, snowball stuns and stunning someone makes them an unsuspecting enemy. I was getting hits for like a thousand damage. I think I'll just take another enchantment point since the build that I've got right now is really strong with the ambush. Like, just look here. Nani? The melee weapon, I'll only take better ones if they've got ambush and then also armors if they've got snowball. And I just found the perfect weapon. Th this pickaxe, ambush, echo, and swirling. This weapon I'm probably gonna keep until the end. And here on just the normal hits, I'm dealing a thousand uh, on just the normal ones. I might actually take the light feather. If I know my artifacts right, this will make it so that where I land, people get stunned, right? I think that was the light feather doing its job. Yes, it was. Okay. Um, so that's good uh, because now I'm not completely dependent on the snowball. I think I might actually get a pet, either the tasty bone or the wonderful wheat. The wolf is, it's gonna deal a lot of damage, but it's just gonna go in there and die. Basically just like a Minecraft wolf then. <laughs> um, but then the wonderful wheat isn't gonna do that much damage, but probably isn't gonna die. I think I'm gonna take the llama. Oh, and then this is a boss floor. Okay, there we go. 
All right, floor 14 cleared. Next, I think I'm actually gonna take this shadow crossbow. Like, I know that I said that this cog crossbow is probably gonna get me through or is still gonna be good when I'm fighting like the final boss, but I still stand by that. But this one here's got shadow form on kills, dynamo, and growing, so I can get a lot of damage from that. I think I'll take the pickaxe for that. What? Oh, and that also upgrades the power, yes! And then this here got chains. Is, is the power smith now completely useless if the power goes up anyways? Okay, let's test out this new crossbow. So that time, nothing happened. This time, nothing happened. Uh... There we go. And then... 21,000! And I know that here I should probably get the shulker armor since it's got a whole button more health. And it's got um, this one here. It doesn't have snowball, so I'm actually gonna take an enchantment point. Like, I know that it's probably very dumb. Oh, and there was the chain. Did you see that? Okay. Uh, that's also stunning the mobs. Wow, okay. Yeah, you know what? I don't care if I'm already working on a build. Next build is probably gonna be an ambush build because I just realized how this, how strong this is. Oh my god, I just really want a stunning. Uh, not a stunning, um, a snowball. This on there would have been so good. Um, oh. uh, yeah, I'm gonna take that. <laughs> um, then... Noble level 3 protection and that's all of my enchantment points so I can't take an ambush but okay now I'm practically invincible love medallion oh which one should I take it instead of I'm gonna take it instead of the scatter mine since it, like the love medallion is OP like for example look at this boom three of the strongest dudes uh, just befriended just like that So now, I, I just got the final shout enchantment, but this boss will have its final shout, and it's gonna be death. <laughs> okay, uh, first I just wanna s wait, what? Okay, Enderman and Wildfire. Okay, Frederick, you focus the Enderman. Oh, I'm defeating the shield, what? Okay, there's fire river. It, it's summoning the freaking blaze, guys. Okay, first I'm just gonna kill the Enderman. Okay, okay, let's actually crossbow. Load up all of the shots and then unload into it. No, Frederick is dead, okay. Got the potion barrier. That went really quickly. It summoned in blazes, which was really cool. And then the first four attacks didn't even matter. That's really interesting because there, you can't really prepare for the boss with like shadow potions and stuff, right? It looks like it could also just fire fireball. I don't know if they did more damage or not, but... I've defeated the wildfire boss. Give me some epic loot. Victory! Let's go! Yeah, sun's grace? That could be really powerful. Splendid robe? Uh, not so good. And then wind bow. Well, the only good one here... Uh, it's really the, um, the sun's grace. And it's wow. really good. So it's got sometimes strikes twice, which is epic. Uh, and then level one radiance. And here I'm gonna go with shockwave. And then critical hit. Let's just do void strike since it deals a button of damage either way. So now let's test this out. Can just nuke piglins like they're nothing. Also nuke blazes pretty easily. Wither Skeletons too. let's do it with the Death Cap. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, looks like we've got a Ghast over here. Two Ghasts? Oh, no, it's a Raid Captain. I just nuked that, ga uh, that Ghast. Look at them with their stupid stone swords. Yeah, I've got a Mace of Radiance and Sunshine. What, what are you gonna do with your crappy stones? So this will then be it for this video, and I gotta say... This mace and the new wildfire bosses, or, or the new wildfire boss, is awesome. Uh, so yeah, I guess this is it for this video, so bye!